by Richard Williams on the ball. There's nobody forward of this pack for Central's at the moment. They'll look to knock it forward. There they do. Oh, lovely little give. And over the ball now, Michael Stevens just taken off it by Thurston's. He did well so well. Done. And a handball under pressure to Dent. Dent to clear it from the back line. Goes down towards the wing. Squire opposed to Hay. Squire gets Hay under the ball. Then lays a tackle. Now lays a tackle on Hay. Now it's off Nelson, dropped by Steinberner. Play on, says the umpire. In they go, over the ball. Umpire says in the back, Nelson gets rewarded eventually. Yeah, that was his reward for his second effort. Superb stuff, great tackle. And then to dive back on the footy in the 50-50. Deserved his free kick and has played well today. Then Nelson, his father, Sandy, played in premierships for Sturt. Drives the ball along this grandstand flank. Over the top, Graham couldn't take the mark. Not forward by French, straight into the hands of Herrera. Bombs it in, under the ball, coming across oh, Whiteman man. brilliantly. Maloney shares it with Powell, gives it out wide to Matner. Bit of space in front of Marty Matner. Drives it up long, looking for Feast. White comes over the back, no mark, play on. Ball to ground, Graham tries to break the tackle. And he's still dragged down, the umpire waiting, waiting. Calls for the ball. Tim Pfeiffer in there quickly to separate the players. Oh, and the and game has cranked up. And two individual efforts here. One, we saw Ben Nelson in front of us here in the green seat. And you saw Whiteman go back against the tie just to create a contest. You see the result of Whiteman's courageous effort uh, in, the, in the Sturt forward line. Squire got put the ball from that contest. Couldn't get it anywhere near the goals. McGowan, he's got a band bandage across his head, as has Hopwood. And Hotwood gets it out of bounds outside that 50 defensive arc for Central District. 15 minutes gone, midway through the third term. Central's on the comeback. Waiting for the ball to come back in. They're under a bit of pressure now, the double blues. How will they handle it? Feast knocks down. Atkinson's there. Ball spills out. Kick forward. Bouncing ball. Paddle. Could it open up for the double blues? In goes Squire. Can he kick an important goal? Oh. Off a step, oh. <laughs> Damien Squire. Well, Skills. Of course, missed the early one. You probably had a simpler opportunity there, but left footers, they'll get you every time, Timmy. They come back inside left foot all the time, and of course, everyone's going to his right leg where the predominant. You can see here, they all go to the right. Oh, Herrera, should have so, known better. Yeah, experienced players, and That's just right, that little bit of luck that they needed, and of course, a great finish from an experienced player. Just what Sturt needed, someone to step up. Away goes Swatala again to the lead of Slade, who can't hook it in with one hand. Just waits for it to sit now. Closing in is Weatherall and runs him out of bounds. Drops the footy. Yeah. Free kick to Timmy Weatherall. That's persistence. That's what it's all about. That is superb stuff. He had nothing to kick to for old Slade, but what an effort by Weatherall that is. And. Slade shouldn't have dropped it, he should have just taken it over the line. Indecision, high kick, looking for Chambers again. Ball spills over the back, Squire, goal! Another one to the double blues. And Damien Squire gets goal number two. And with three, we've seen three individual efforts which could well determine who wins this game. We saw Ben Nelson here in front of us. We saw Whiteman push back into a pack with tremendous courage. And just a tackle there by Tim Weatherall enables Sturt to turn the ball over. Chambers wrestles, just brings the ball down. Squire runs into a riddle of his simple goal. The margin now extends, extends to six goals. Free kick to Feast, who spots Campbell, who takes the mark. A couple of kicks out from goals, Xavier Campbell. White gives him something short. Good looking kick, White's got it. Well, good move by Stephen White. He just got a couple of yards on Herrera. Couldn't go with him. And White, strong out in front of his face. Had an opportunity a few moments ago. He kicked it a long, long way to the right and gets another chance. He is on a little bit more of an acute angle this time. Hard kick from this pocket for a left footer. Realistically, the breeze is going nearly straight behind him. He kicked from right on 50. That's a high ball. White, he's given it a ride. He's given it a ride. It's home. Difficult kick from out there. Now, as I just about lose my voice, Andrew Rogers, what a great kick. Once again, I spoke about goals deep in time on. They got one in the second quarter through Ben Nelson. They've got another one here through Stephen Watt. Xavier Campbell with fresh legs is stretching the, the uh, Central District's midfield. And Brian Arata just fell over at the inopportune time. And Stephen White from just outside 50 gets hold of it. Ooh. The difference is Con and Ford didn't get the distance. Yeah. 
And there we see that Stephen White does get the distance. So the margin is almost irreparable. But great little hand pass in there, found Ford. Ford chips it short from behind, came Curtis, knocked it away from Chris Gowans. Now Howman with an opportunity to clear properly for Sturt. Off to Dent, Dent looks upfield, goes long with the kick, and that finds Hareda. Feast comes back, puts some pressure on him, but Brian Hareda with the mark. Quickly off to Hopwood, running off half-back. Done it all year, he's done it for a couple of years. Drives it up long this time, from behind comes Gowans. Can't take the mark this time either. French, little hand pass, they share it around Sturt. Sheedy, Sheedy looks around. Goes wide to Dent. He's picked up a few possessions in this term already. Dent inside with the left leg, wants it to be accurate. Well, lots of fortune. Came back to Xavier Campbell. His kick was a beauty and hooray to Eda Fears, and it doesn't make any difference because White marks it, wheels around on the left leg. His delivery out in front of Chambers. <laughs> having decided, well, oh, man. having no, made no decision, he didn't turn around. Lays back on the kick, went on the goal line fire. And the goal umpire signals with two fingers, does he? Yes, he does. A goal for Sturt. I think that's a game breaker, Neil. I think you can slightly start inscribing Sturt's name on the cup. Yeah, look, Andrew, I agree with you. And look, we've talked about French, how important he is. And he, he just backs back into packs and all that sort of thing. He started this whole thing. And Chambers now has to finish off. Great goal. And goal umpire can never lies. But he starts the whole thing at uh, half-back flank, by the way, he just backs into another contest. They run it up here. Beautiful play. Chambers should have looked around and given it a piece, but hey, went back and finished off, and really, I think you're right, Thomas Seymour Hill has got Sturt's name on it once again. Grant Chambers couldn't be too perturbed about that at this particular stage. 23-minute mark of the final term. Feast and Arnold. Ball down, Nelson, who has been very handy. Weatherall hasn't had the best of days. Fights it off to Wicks. Wicks lines it up and heads it home. The double blues by 46. They're home. Make no mistake about that. Young Daniel Wicks hasn't had the best of days, but finished in grand style. You don't always have to have the best of days to play in the premiership time, Michael. And he's done his dues during the year. He's one of the many players that have got in there. Great persistence there by Tim Weatherall. This year's McGarry medalist. He's shown, the, he's shown his true colours today. And Wicks, a quality finisher, puts the pedal on the gas, just settles himself, slightly kicks around corners. He knows as soon as it's left his kicks, it's party time for Sturt. Loves it up. Barnaby French backs in and causes the ball to spill to the front. Now it's out to Whiteman. Whiteman breaks the tackle. There are really possessions to be had everywhere here at the moment. In the middle of the ground, it's farmed out to Sheedy. Don't know how it got there. Looked like maybe a hand pass. Up forward, the tall timber. And Feast is the rover this time. Off the right leg, Simon Feast hits the post. The 1998 club champion. The last time they played in a grand final, which was 1998, he was the club champion. They lost that one. They will win this one. Yes, it doesn't really matter though, Neil. I mean, it's all just, uh, just waiting for the siren to go. Just playing the game out and a thoroughly deserved victory for Sturt. Herrera takes the mark at half-back, lays it off to Hay, who kicks with the right boot to find Gowans out of side. That's Chris Gowans. Goes short, Sting out of this game. The double blues are home in 2002. Slade from 50 will go back and make the scoreboard look a little bit better for the doggies. No, he won't. Chips in short, Sibanala. Well, did even put his arms up, Sibanala. Taken by Curtis, who's been outstanding in the final series, to Hellman, who got it away to Powell. They want to switch play, back to Campbell, dangerous kick. They're playing around with it a bit at the moment, Sturt, they can do that. Campbell, got it back to Curtis, breaks the tackle, no pressure there. Whiteman will take the mark at half-back, has got Matna running for him, has a bounce, wants to chip it in short to Nelson, he's got to go, under pressure from James Gowans, and Ricky McGowan, I should say. Good thing Cowan's not playing today, because they have the quadrilla in. There's the siren! Sturt are premiers in 2002, their first flag in 26 years for the rookie coach in Brenton Phillips. They have beaten the powerful Central District and stopped them from winning three flags in a row. 1976, the last time Sturt had a premiership win, that was over Port Adelaide by 41 points. They have held Central District to its lowest score of the season this afternoon. Sturt 13 14, 92 to Central's 6 9 45. And somewhere in there, you would think, 
would be Brendan Phillips getting the congratulations as the Double Blues celebrate their 13th Premiership.